Right now, chips are really sort of the underpinnings of this entire tech community, where AI is going. Lisa, thank you so much for coming. She's one of the few women CEOs who've been there from the beginning, I have to say. AI is the most important technology that I believe, you know, we'll see over the next 10 years. I use these large language models all the time to just help me find stuff. Tell I mean, me what you It's much it. easier. I, I, I was searching for renewable power. Wow, that's very high-minded of you. <laughs> oh. I, I asked it to write a tooth fairy letter. Okay. <laughs> Is it appropriate that uh, this, this more focus on national security? I don't think it's a question of, you know, should there be export controls? I think there's a question of where do you draw the line mm -hmm. on export controls? We should spend the majority of our time thinking about how do we as a country go faster? I think AI can really accelerate the rate and pace of research beyond what we're thinking about today. The U.S. leads in AI today. Mm -hmm. The U.S. leads in AI chips today. The U.S. leads in AI models today. The U.S. must continue to lead. And it includes work that we have to do in the private sector. It includes work that we have to do in universities. It includes work that we have to do in national labs. All of these things are important. How do you look at these governmental caps and other freezes to university research? I'm a big believer in university research. I'm a big believer in you know the fact that research, especially that is early on and not tied to commercial interests, is actually a great thing. 